I talk for the press. Well, my people, me here for drop the real news, you know, news reviews, everything in a one right this or right there, my people. So all I want enough to do is like up the video, share out the video, subscribe to my channel, my people. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's get right into it. A corrupt government cannot liberate the people. If the head of the stream is corrupt, the entire river will be also. A blessed, a blessed good day to you, my wisdom warriors. Wagwan, wagwan. I'm back again with another video. Well, in another one here, the authorities are investigating the discovery of two guns and an imitation firearm during a routine vehicle check at the Jamaica Defense Force headquarters at Upper Camp in St. Andrew. In a media release on Monday morning, the Jamaica Defense Force said it was collaborating with the Jamaica Constabulary Force on this matter. My wisdom warriors, this is where I bring the daily news over to you and it not done this so. The St. Andrew South Police on Saturday seized 60 rounds of ammunition and a gun and arrest three men during an operation in Olympic Gardens. They are being held on suspicion of possession of prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition. 60 rounds of ammunition seized in Olympic Gardens and they are arrested, my wisdom warriors. Why them are people? You know what? Uh, <clears throat> hey, one thing you know. They flock all these guns from the island, you know. Mm -hmm. Remember, say, Oris Chan come out and say 200 guns are coming out of the country every month. Remember, say, Horace Chan come tell with that, you know. 200 guns are coming every single month. And uh -uh, now we can't hold nobody for it. That makes sense, my wisdom warriors. That makes sense. Oh, no, no, say, say, I saw me, my tell we. I tell him, I tell we, say, I'm bringing the gun, you know. I that him, I tell we. Also, the Meteorological Service of Jamaica says the weather system moving towards Jamaica is forecast to strengthen to a tropical depression later today, which means tropical storm conditions are expected to affect Jamaica within 24 hours. My well-thinking Jamaicans, my Jamaican people, may want to not be prepared for this one. Don't take it lightly. You understand? Don't take it lightly. Stay safe. Stay safe. You know, see how many days now I see they kept coming out. And I tell you, know, guys, say tropical storm are come, tropical storm are come. So, you know, have to just be prepared. Right now, Christopher Tufton, the Ministry of Health, they, they came out and they urged the Jamaican people to prepare for inclement weather. When you know, hear that, the Ministry of Health is advising members of the public to take precautions to safeguard their health. Well, listen, good enough, Jamaica. The Ministry of Health is advising members of the public to take precautions to safeguard their health amid the threat of a tropical storm. It says the following precautions should be taken regarding food and water safety, persons with chronic illnesses and pregnant women. Want to hear that? Make sure so you don't have a lot of water in our house. Make sure say you don't have enough food. And make sure say wanna be prepared, Jamaican people. Make sure say wanna be prepared because anything can happen. You understand me? The rain and shine we outside. Don't feel a joke. Rain and shine we outside. For all four people in that no. Outside we there no. Outside we outside We are taking to them. Be careful as well. One eye sat. One eye sat. Drop it at Rona. One. Don't no feel a joke. Terry. The man from Baskabel, newly minted mayor in St. Mary, Comrade Fitzroy Wills is here. All right. Cataract sound in the building. Comrades. So I am going places. to a place in this constituency which I call the gateway to this constituency. It is the first place that you enter and the last place when you are leaving for the beautiful Castleton Division. Please to welcome Comrade Wayne Campbell from Castleton. Greetings. Comrades from near and far. Comrades on the platform. 
Castleton, comrade, let me hear you. Raise the glass and raise your hand. You know in Castleton, them call it the Forgotten Division. And it might be true. Because in Castleton, we have unemployment 45 to 55%. So we call it the Forgotten Division. Crime in Castleton increasing. So we call it the Forgotten Division. The police station have no vehicle for over a year. So we still call it the Forgotten Division. Now, as a division, you know we will ask representation from other um, constituency to walk through the division and sometimes we barely can't get anybody because we are still called the forgotten division but I tell you this I am very proud of Castleton and there are some things that Castleton need to do and I see Comrade Brown starting on the right track. I want to big up the man. I don't business with what go on or what pass. We are PNP and we are going to take it. You know, people say that or this is a thing that we use that you work from your strength to your weakness. Let me tell you something. I don't believe that one size fits all. Because what I notice in Castleton, that our strong PD, the labor right them working at and staying there, and now we can barely win those PD. Employment. We have employment opportunity in Castleton, but we need to structure. We have the Castleton Garden. We have sand mining. We have the maroon. We have the hiking trail. We have all those. But we need structuring. We don't even have even class in the old division. We have two community centers. With one community center have 13 industrial machines in it, rotting down, nothing. We need, and we are working on it. We're working on an IABM machine to put at the police station. Kirsten people have to travel to Stony Hill and to Anata Bay. My Wisdom Warriors, Andrew Holness is demanding improved performance from his MPs. With his party trailing in the poll, Prime Minister and leader of the Jamaica Labour Party, Andrew Holness, has again called for improved performances from JLP members of Parliament across the island. Mr. Holness recently affirmed that the poll results were a wake-up call to members of his party going into the general election due next year. So now you hear that, My Wisdom Warriors? Andrew Wallace knows that MP they now perform well. Him know that. So when near the supporters them out here talk about how the MP are the good. It, uno MP is not doing good. Jamaica Labour Party MP is not doing good. This is why Andrew Wallace is out here demanding improvement from them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, real thing. Real thing. So I don't blame Andrew Wallace. But here what? Uh, no matter what uno do. In no matter what uno do. Time come. Time come. And it's time for a change. It is time for a change. People can't just sit down so. You get me? People can't just sit down so and allow one of the trample upon them left, right and centre. It's time for a change. And the time is now. My wisdom warriors, want to tell me what to think about this. Want to tell me how to feel about it. And put an honest opinion in the comment section. Like up the video, share it out and subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My people, I want to run over to my other channel. It is called the PNP News Round. Subscribe and get me.